This is the GoPro Shorty, and it is really short, but is it any good? Let's get straight to it and take a look. The Shorty, when closed, fits into the palm of your hand, and it's just less than 12 centimeters long and about two and a half centimeters in diameter. It's the most compact selfie stick I have, and it's even smaller than the Insta360 compact selfie stick, which is around 17 centimeters when closed. It has a GoPro mount at the top, and this is great because it's compatible out of the box with the GoPro Max with no additional adapter. It's extremely lightweight and just feels like next to nothing in your hand. The selling point of the Shorty is that it's dual function. It's good as a pocket tripod, but it has the added bonus feature of being able to extend it to create a compact selfie stick. Now you're not going to be able to get too creative with this selfie stick because fully extended it's only 23 centimeters long. This does mean however that you can keep your camera attached and then you can just whip it out of your pocket with no setup time and start recording either in 360 or in hero mode. This is great for vlogging and great for those moments that you'd otherwise miss because you run out of time because you're messing around screwing your camera on your selfie stick and then onto a tripod. The handle is smooth plastic so not very grippy and it does feel a little bit cheap and plasticky for the money that you pay but at the same time you can't help but like it. The thumb bolt feels more robust than the traditional thumb screw and for 360 use it makes sure that nothing is protruding into the stitching area. I really wish you could buy this thumb bolt separately because it really is well made and it would be great to use on so many GoPro mounts. You can't lock the selfie stick into place it relies purely on friction and whilst this is quite firm and does hold the camera in place at the moment, over time I'm not sure if this would loosen. It does feel cheap and very lightweight and if you place it on the ground, if there's a wind, even without extending it, it feels very vulnerable. And that's mainly because the legs don't open very far, which means it sits quite high above the ground for such a small tripod. You can use the GoPro Shorty with other 360 cameras as well, and you may need an adapter, but it's a perfect match for the Insta360 ONE R, which also comes with the GoPro finger mount. If you want to use it with the ONE X or any other camera with a quarter inch thread, then you'll need to get a GoPro finger mount to quarter inch thread adapter. And you need to make sure that this is a narrow style adapter so it gets hidden in the stitch line and doesn't show up as a blob in your hand. The GoPro Shorty has been around for a few years and there are a few changes I'd like to see if they ever brought out a newer version of this tripod. A rubberized handle would have given this extra grip when you're using it as a selfie stick and also rubberized feet to stop it damaging any surfaces instead of the hard plastic feet that it comes with. Metal legs would make it more robust and if they could open a bit wider then it would definitely make it less vulnerable to falling over. If you want to be discreet with a short selfie stick that you know is not going to get confiscated at airports or confiscated in tourist attractions where sometimes selfie sticks are banned then this is a great option. The Shorty isn't a selfie stick tripod combo that I use often but it certainly has its place especially if you want to travel lightweight and stay discreet. If you want to find out about other accessories that I recommend for the Insta360 ONE R and the GoPro Max then you can watch one of these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.